Well, hey everyone, my name is Nathan Jones, and if you're new here, welcome. I like to talk about all things movies, specifically Blu-rays, and a few things. Uh, first, I have a cold, so just mind that first. Uh, second, I have a new space, so, you know, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think of this this, this area and uh, this footage? So, uh, we're going to be testing this more uh, as we go along. So, with that being said, I want to continue with the year series. It's been a tumultuous last couple of months, and so I want to kind of ease back into YouTube a little bit with some lists. It's fun. I like talking about lists. It's also fall, so... It's probably why I have a cold. But today, um, we're going to be continuing with the year series. So if you're unfamiliar with the year series, it is where we I chose a random year from a random number generator, and I started there, and then you, in the comment section, were able to choose the next year, and so I randomly selected that. And, uh, you know, we've talked about several great years, from 1940 all the way up to 1962, which is what we talked about last time. Uh, but today, I want to talk about a different year, and uh, you can probably already know from the title... Uh, we're talking about 1977, and so I want to say a big shout out to Brian Reynolds, a good friend of the show and subscriber. Uh, he's the one who chose 1977, and uh, there's actually 10 of you who give me different years, so keep doing that. I, and make sure to not list years that we've already listed. So if there's already, you know, in the playlist of, of lists of numbers uh, for years, do not choose the same one because I, you know, it's not going to not gonna happen. But uh, I love continuing this, and it's a really fun little thing, so... Today we're going to be talking about my five favorite films from 1977. All right, so starting off with 1977 is a sci-fi classic, and it's Close Encounters of a Third Kind. Steven Spielberg, I mean, come on. Uh, this is just an amazing film. First of all, this is an amazing steelbook. I really love the way this is set up. Um, it's just one of my first 4Ks, actually, too. Um, but yeah, this is just a really fun film. I, I think it's better than E.T., um, but this obviously came out in the 70s, right? And it's a very different time period, but... Uh, just the effects on this and just the bombastic kind of, you know, summer blockbuster that this movie is. Uh, it's, it's just, you know, it it's one of the best films from this time period, like just period. And uh, it's a fun film. Uh, I've only seen it once, so I can't speak too much on it, but I do really enjoy it. Uh, it's got some really crazy moments in here that I really, really enjoy. It's got a really nice balance of action, adventure, and comedy as well, um, and some sci-fi, you know, horror a little bit so yeah close encounters of a third kind that is my number five choice for 1977 all right so moving right along actually to the best picture winner of 1977 we're talking about annie hall uh from woody allen who also has diane keaton in it um this is actually one of better the better woody allen films it's like probably his probably my favorite film from him uh hannah and her sisters is really fun too but obviously say what you will about woody allen because obviously <clears throat> not a good guy um, but regardless, um, this is a good movie. This is a really fun movie. Um, it's got, it's a romance, pretty much. It's a romance between, you know, Woody Allen's character and Annie Hall right here, played by Diane Keaton. Um, it's, it's just got a really nice charm to it. Of course, you know, it's got the city in the background as its own character. Um, and then also it's just, you know, it's, it's comedic in its ways because like, Woody Allen just breaks the fourth wall all the time um and constantly talks to you know us the, as the audience and trying to figure out what the situation is like in here um but also just seeing how his you know relationship with Diane Keaton's character uh, just unravels and you know doesn't it goes awry quite a bit so uh, up until the end so anyway Annie Hall it's a great film from this time period it, it makes sense to me why it, it you know won best picture at least was in the contender race for it but uh, yeah Annie Hall is a fantastic film uh, it's one I want to rewatch um, probably sometime, you know, maybe in the fall. So we'll see. Yeah. Annie Hall, number four from 1977. All right. So next we're going to go to horror. And it's probably the best horror film of the year. It's, I think it is. And this, these next three right here could be so interchangeable as number one. Honestly, it just depends on the day. Uh, so just my mood right now, this is number three, which is weird because I'm in a horror mood. I'm talking about Suspiria, which is crazy. Uh, this is one of the prettiest films I've ever seen. This is one of the best 4Ks I've ever seen. This is from Synapse Films. It's just a really great film. Uh, it's very colorful. It's very horrific. Um, it's got that Italian Giallo-esque. I'm going to say Giallo-esque because some people are like, this isn't a Giallo, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I, I understand. Um, it's a horror film. Um, but regardless... It's a really, really fun film. Uh, it's really colorful. It's, it's its location is its own character as well, like I was saying with Annie Hall, but this may be more so, obviously, like very physically a location. There's a lot of really crazy kills, a lot of really crazy sequences that I really love, and uh, everyone in it is just fun to, like, interact with. And, uh, 
It's got a little bit of a cheese element to it as well. Of course, you got that bright red blood that you would see in stuff like this. But Suspiria is a great time. It's, it's an amazing film. It's one of those films that's, like I said, this could be number one. So Suspiria is number three at the moment, but easily could be number one. All right, so next is actually probably the most thrilling film on this entire list. It's such a nail biter. It's such a great film. It's a remake of The Wages of Fear that came out of the 50s. I'm talking about 1977's Sorcerer, <coughs> directed by William Friedkin. This movie is, wow, it's, uh, it might be better than the original, but the original has a lot of tension. So does this, but um, it's just, you know, some guys trying to, you know, transport some explosives, some dangerous explosives um, to a location uh, for a lot of money. But uh, this movie... Wow, um, I love it. I just love the, the breakdown of the characters and how human this film is um, and how fragile uh, life can be. So Sorcerer is an amazing film. If you've never seen this movie, you need to. It's fantastic. Like I said, this could easily switch with Suspiria and the number one film I'm going to be talking about. So it makes complete sense to me. Sorcerer, please go watch this movie. And number one, this is a film that I just am nostalgic for, obviously, but it's also one of the best films of all time. It's one of the best science fiction films of all time. And of course, I'm talking about Star Wars. So you can call it Star Wars, or you can call it A New Hope, whatever. Um, a lot of people get really butthurt about that. But regardless, Star Wars is a really, it's a great tale. Um, and this original one is, I, it's the second best film in the Star Wars franchise, in my, in my opinion. But uh, this is where it all started. And it's a fantastic, um, you know, space odyssey, really. Um, obviously, this is where, you know, a lot of the ideas kind of started. And so there's, there's a little bit of some flaws there, but regardless, this is just, it's a great beginning. It's a great beginning into some characters that we know and love. Um, and it's, you know, it's one of those franchises that maybe have gotten a little out of hand, but regardless, um, Star Wars is something that is really special. So, um, it's really special to me too. So I really love Star Wars and that's probably why it's number one. But like I said, this switches between Sorcerer, Suspiria, Star Wars, it's all the, there's three S's, I guess. They're they're all there. So what about you? What are your favorite films from 1977? I would love to hear down in the comment section down below. And do not forget to give me a new year down there as well. Make sure I did not uh, do not select a year that I've already talked about. Uh, but yeah, pick a new year and uh, it could be you. Uh, thanks again, Brian, for, for giving me 1977. This is a fun one. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of bangers in here. Um, a lot of really big blockbuster films as well. I didn't. I don't feel like I chose I, anything too crazy or outlandish. There's a couple things I wanted to talk about, like The Hobbit and whatnot. But anyway, uh, here we are, 1977. I appreciate your time, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. Give it a like, comment down below, share, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'm not jonesing around.